Hello and welcome to today's lesson where we're looking at Hoshin planning and the X matrix. Now Hoshin planning also goes by the names of Hoshin Canary or policy deployment. So imagine you run a large global business such as Microsoft containing lots of employees and selling lots of different products. You're responsible for setting the overall strategy and long-term vision of the business. But how do you ensure that every single employee is working towards that vision every single day? More challenging still, how do you make each employee care about your strategy? This is the problem that Hoshin planning is designed to solve. It's designed to keep everyone within your organization working towards and aligned to your strategic objectives. It eliminates the inefficiencies that can result from a lack of communication or alignment between different departments of an organization. Ultimately, Hoshin Canary bridges the gap between strategy and execution by ensuring everyone is bought into the strategy, aligned with it and focused on achieving it. Now, before we go through the Hoshin planning process, be aware that it isn't just a top-down approach. It has two built-in feedback mechanisms to increase the model's effectiveness. These are Catchball and the PDCA cycle. So let's take a quick look at each. So Catchball is a back and forth technique for improving goals and ideas. And it works when a manager shares their goals, objectives, or ideas with their team and then throws them to the team for feedback. The team then throws their feedback back to the manager. And you repeat this process until there's general agreement. And that creates a bi-directional feedback loop, which ultimately improves the quality of your goals and objectives. Now, suppose you cascade this catch ball through all levels of the organization. Well, in that case, everyone in the organization will have had the opportunity to provide some feedback on your organization's strategy. And the second technique is the PDA cycle, which stands for Plan, Do, Check, Act, and is a structured approach to help you move closer to any goal you're trying to achieve. Now, you use it by iterating through the cycle repeatedly, with each loop bringing you closer to your desired destination. And the four stages are plans. So decide what it is you're going to try and do and make a plan to do it. It's small, quick, incremental improvements you should aim to achieve, not large scale projects. Do means execute your chosen plan on a small scale. So for example, you might decide to update code on a test server. Check means compare the actual results you are seeing against what you expected to see. If your solution fails, then return to the start of the cycle. But if it succeeds, continue to the next step. And the final step is act. And in this step, you implement your solution fully. So for example, that could mean rolling your code out across the entire organization. So with that, let's jump in and look at the Hoshin planning process. The first step of the process is to establish your organization's strategic vision. So your strategic vision describes where your organization hopes to get to in the future. Essentially, it's the strategic aim of your organization. Next, you develop your breakthrough objectives. Now, these are ones that the organization will have to stretch itself to achieve and that you'd like to achieve within the next three to five years. And in this step, it's important not to pick too many objectives. So you remain really focused on what's strategically important. Next, you develop your annual objectives. These lay out what you think you need to achieve in the next year to be in with a fighting chance of hitting your breakthrough objectives. With your annual objectives in place, you now need to deploy them to every employee in the organization. At the end of this process, everybody from your most senior managers to the factory floor should understand and agree on what goals must be achieved. Now, you use the catch ball technique to do this. Now, a tool that's commonly used to facilitate catch ball is called the X matrix, but it isn't strictly part of Hoshin planning. Now, if this looks really complex, then don't worry, it's pretty straightforward, and I'll show you how to use it once we finish walking through the remaining steps of Hoshin planning. So step five is to implement your annual objectives. And this is the step where the rubber hits the road and execution begins. You know what it is you need to do and how it fits into the strategy. Now you just need to determine the specifics of how to do it and actually get started. And you use the PDCA cycle during this step and the next step to drive continuous improvement. Step six, is your monthly review. And this aims to ensure that your projects and initiatives are on track. It allows you to see what's going right and what isn't. 
When things aren't going to plan, you can decide what corrective action to take. Your key goal as a manager during these monthly reviews is to ensure that systems are in place to understand your progress towards your goals. And the final step, the annual review, is your opportunity to review how the year has gone. It's your opportunity to step back and look at the big picture. What went well and what didn't? And what should you do about it? So with that, let's take a look at the X matrix and how you use it. Now the X matrix is a single page document that includes your strategic objectives, how you intend to achieve them, who's responsible for achieving them, and the key performance indicators by which you'll measure success. So to use the matrix, you follow these five steps. First, you enter your long-term objectives. These are the equivalent of your breakthrough objectives in Hoshin planning. Next, you enter your annual objectives that will progress you towards these long-term objectives. Third, you enter the projects or the initiatives that will help you achieve your annual objectives. Fourth, you enter the KPIs. So how will you know that each of these initiatives has succeeded? These are often called your how much. And finally, you enter the person who is ultimately responsible for each initiative. So let's take a look at an example. So suppose you want to increase profitability by 25%. So you may decide this year you need to increase your customer satisfaction by 10%. And you're going to go about that by building quality into the product process. And by doing that, the KPI you're trying to achieve is to increase your net promoter score or NPS by 10%. And the person responsible for all of this is going to be your head of product management. So let's look at what this example looks like in an actual X model template with a little bit of extra detail added. So you can see that our long-term objective is to increase profitability by 25%. And if you follow the dots, you can see that to do that, we need to hit two objectives this year. Firstly, increase customer satisfaction by 25%. And secondly, increase employee retention by 10%. Now, if you follow the dots, you can see that to increase employee retention, we have two top level priorities that need to happen. And if you follow the dots again, you can see the KPIs for these initiatives and that the head of human resources is responsible for them. Now, suppose we follow the dots in the same way for our customer satisfaction annual objective. Well, in that case, we can see that we have an initiative to build quality into the process a KPI to increase NPS by 10%, and that the head of product management is responsible. Now, for this example, catchball would happen by the head of product management and the head of human resources. Each of them would take a copy of the X model and work with their teams to create a new X model based only on the initiatives and objectives for which they are responsible. Each time the model goes down a level in the organization, then you'd expect the initiatives to become a little bit more concrete and a little bit less strategic. So by the way, if you want to get hold of this Excel template and create your own X matrix, then there's a link you can follow below this video to get hold of it. So in summary, Hoshin planning, also known as Hoshin Canry or policy deployment, is a seven step strategic planning system that bridges the gap between strategy and execution to ensure that the entire organization contributes to and is aligned with your organizational strategy. So that's it for this lesson. Really hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon.